Hello, spooky friends. It is Connie here from the Daily Life of Creativity, and today is the first of October. So I wanted to go on here and show you the process of building the inside of this mini album. I did not get to film on how I put the covers together, but it's okay. I will do it another time. Okay. Um, this is a seven by five mini album. You need two covers, and then for the spine is um seven by two. I have already done the hinges, and I would recommend for you to go over to the Doodle Blog Designs. Um, do the bug designs blog to see um, on how I did the hinges because you can see here that I only have four I have four hinges and for this mini album since I didn't center it you can add six since the spine is two inches wide um, right now I am using a mirror car stack that I got from scrapbook.com and it's about i think one eighth of an inch between each gap so you can add it to them okay so that's what you see me doing here adding the mirror car stack and i also added that mirror car stack to the front of the album to mat my little um, papers on and I see like a sneak peek all around the album and also inside in this spot so I will go ahead and link the doodle blog doodle bug designs blog <laughs> that was released about a week ago so you can take some measurements take some notes but for the hinges you are going to need a six and seven eighths by 12 inches paper either in black and white and score each at two, two and a half, three, three and a quarter, three and three fourths, four and a quarter, four and a half, five inches, five and a half, five and three fourths, six and a quarter, six and a quarter, six and three fourths, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a quarter, and eight and three fourths, and nine and a quarter, okay? So that is how you get the six hinges. Um, you would add double sided tape in every half of an inch segment on one side and adhere it, leaving the quarter of an inch in between every um hinges okay um that's how i was able to add the one eight mirror card stack in between i really love that look here you see me um doing some pocket pages um those little pocket pages are the ones that are gonna go in the middle for fourth four of the pages okay those pages are four and three fourths by seven and a half. And you will score at each end. I think about a quarter of an inch. Okay. At the bottom and right corner. Those are going to be here. You see me measuring. Those are going to be the ones that go in the hinges, the first four hinges. Because for the last two pages, they're a bit different. They're like little pockets, but from the top. And one of them, I use the heavyweight acetate also from the collection. Here I am using double-sided tape. If you prefer on using liquid glue, which I do all the time, I usually use the Barely Art Precision Craft Glue or there is another brand that I use. I don't have it on my desk currently. All right, so I'm back and I'm using a one eighth of an inch double-sided tape 
on the top of the hinges, leaving some space between the album. Because you don't want the pages to be really close. They won't be able to close and open properly. You want to leave some type of gap so they can move freely, okay? I'm adding double-sided tape to the pages where the pages are going to go. I have a question for you guys do you guys mind watching longer videos or do you like them to be a little quicker because for this one I did not delete much <laughs> I left everything in I think so here I am just making sure that the pages are gonna fit Noah I am going to pick through my papers to see which ones I want to use in front of those um, card sacks just looking to see which one looks best flow better together although every single paper flows very good because it's the collection you cannot go wrong just depending on your mood and what you feel and what you want to see in your album right So for those, you will need them to be four and three fourths by seven. Okay, and since you already added the double-sided tape to the ones that have been scored, you don't need to add any glue to this ones here. This step is not necessary. <laughs> I did it to the first pocket and I didn't do it to the rest. It's perfectly fine. Here I'm just lining up the bottom page to the top one, making sure that it's centered. And remember to leave the longer side without any adhesive, okay? They're supposed to be like that. Shorter side will have the tape, the longer side will have the pockets open. I have scored it so much to the point of the car stop breaking. It's okay, um, you can add some glue and you can go back to binding. Here I'm using my shirt to clean <laughs> the extra glue. Oh jeez. Okay, right here you see me trimming those little pieces with my scissors apparently they didn't line up that straight but it's okay no one will notice if you just use your scissors to trim it away so i lied i guess i did it to this one too <laughs> I think I did it to every single page. 
I did it such a long time. I think about three weeks ago, so I forgot what I did. All right, so this is the last page, the fourth one that I'm doing this to, and that completes the first four pages. Make sure that all the glue is tucked in so you don't have any double-sided tape. <laughs> all right, so that's what they look like, and I think they turned out pretty cute. And those four pages, like I said before, they're gonna go in the first four four hinges of the album since i did an extra step different step that you probably won't need if you follow the uh, directions for the hinges with the six for the six hinges okay and that's the way we're going to be adding them to the album make sure that they're not flush like not touching the album add them to the same um leaving the same space in between the tape and the spine you want to make sure that they're not touching so they can move freely and better this part you just have to make sure that you're doing it to the best of your abilities i say <laughs> Because this is a handmade album, so of course it's going to be not 100% perfect. There you go. So I left a little between the hinges. Now you just have to make sure that all the pages after that are straight. And I'm removing the, um, the paper from the tape in the front, leaving the back still with the tape. And when the front has been lined up properly, then I remove the back tape so we can, the backing from the tape so we can adhere the packet properly. And so far, it's looking good. Everything look like, looks straight. That's like one of the hardest part. part to have every single page in your album when you're doing this be straight instead of crooked you see one page is going left and the other going right <laughs> or one is a little higher from the from the other one that part drives me insane so just take your time use your eyes and make sure that they're lining up properly and if it's your first time doing it do not beat yourself for it because it took me a while to get to the point that i am and i still practice by making more mini albums they're all not perfect and they all have some type of detail or something that only i can see because when i show it to someone they're like oh this is gorgeous you did this album by yourself you know like you did a good job and only you can see your mistakes if you don't point them out nobody else can see them <laughs> It's all about having fun. Okay, so this is the last page that is going to be this way with the pockets facing the side. Okay. And I'm here thinking I should have added another packet. So you will see me here scoring a piece of paper so I can add an extra one. But I'm just showing you what I did, my mistake. So you can see that that's how you learn and you can go and create it with the six hinges with the measurement that i told you earlier or if you want to know what they are again just go over 
to the doodle blog doodle bug blog doodle bug designs blog that's a mouthful for me but it's a very cute name <laughs> okay so we are adding that so i can do six pages just like you guys if you guys are following along or maybe you're just looking to see how i created the process maybe you just want to know until you <laughs> do it and for this side right here too i am going to also be adding the mirror card stack the one eighth of an inch I just love the way it looks. It looks finished, it looks complete. Getting those little strips cut, it's a, it's a challenge. I'm not going to lie, to make them perfectly straight all the way down, but you just gotta put some pressure on the cutting ruler and they stay pretty much still. See right here, I'm using that Barely Arts glue really good glue I like using it I would really like to know if you guys are doing October daily or if you don't do October daily like I don't like doing October daily I like doing October stories because I don't do something every day or unless you want to focus on like a movie or maybe you got some cute socks you want to document or a shirt or you bake some cookies and decorated them spooky little things i don't know it's just it's so up to you on what you are doing and where you are at the moment i don't do daily i do stories like today is the second i was supposed to post this yesterday i started doing the voiceover for it and it just didn't happen so i had to finish it on the 2nd of october and i started editing this video a while ago sometimes we're just busy you know work life kids <laughs> okay so here i am back with the acetate packet um, this is a heavyweight acetate and it's also in the collection. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. I love all the little stars in different colors. It matches every single paper. You cannot go wrong. And this packet is about the same size. Let me see here. See me trying to embellish or add some paper to cover the glue on one side, which is perfectly fine because I don't want to see the glue through the acetate paper. And on that packet, I'm going to be adding a tag, a large tag that I used, um, I made using a nested die from scrapbook.com. I can go ahead and link, link it down below. Yeah. And I'm adding the black side. I forgot, probably duty. should have probably added the side with all the little cute houses. You know, looking back at the video, sometimes I'll, you you look at things with a different view and you just like, why didn't I leave that there? Or why didn't I do it this way? <laughs> but when you're crafting at the moment, you just, you're in the zone, you're thinking differently. So it's up to you on how you want to create your album. I like to flip through the pages to see what papers I have used, what's the next paper I want to see popping through what images I want to be showing like this here I'm creating because the packet 
it's open at the bottom and i want it to be closed but i also don't want to add the tape in between the acetate so all i did was cut a piece of paper measures three score at one and a half three inches by let me see here yeah four and three fourths so it's the same size pocket like the other pages and i am going to be adding double-sided tape to that and you see how the images are facing the opposite direction facing down i will just get a piece of paper from what's left over and then mat it on top of it you will see me doing it right now So the heavyweight acetate that is 10 inches by six and seven eighths, you will score at four and three fourths and nine and a half. Okay. Um, and for the last page that I'm going to add to the album is the same measurements. You will use your circle punch to create a little open, open nest, open mouth. So it, things are easier to grab. I as you can see, I did that for the front and back packet of the album. And they're completely different. One is bigger and the other one is smaller. It's fine. It didn't bother me. Well, I let it not bother me because it was bothering me that it was not the same. But I just left it alone before I made it worse. You see? No, they're facing the right way. You just need to add a little paper there and if you want you can add embellishments to that or leave it at is but you will see on my second video on how i embellish the album there you go i'm showing you the pocket showing you how it works and i'm just flipping through the pages for the ten thousand time because when I'm creating a project, I like to see it and over and over and over again. Okay, so for the last page, I have already scored. Like I said, the same measurements. 10, in, 10 by 6 and 7 eighths. And you will score at 4 and 3 fourths and 9 and a half. But for that one, I did add it. I added the double-sided tape to the bottom to close the packet because it won't show through the as like the acetate would. Okay, so we're gonna be adding some signature pages to all the little packets, and. Um, if you don't have magnets, it's okay. Get them another time. But adding magnets to the pages keeps them close. And they're not opening. It just looks neater. I don't know the purpose of magnets. To keep the album together, close the pages close. If you don't have magnets, but you have like baker's twine, you can add the baker's twine underneath before matting the signature pages and you can close it with Baker's twines or some type of ribbon that would work. Doesn't have to be magnets. Okay. So here I am showing you again all the pages. And this is the way I use the circle punch. So this is a 1.5, so one and a half circle punch that I got from Hobby Lobby. And that is not centered and it bothered me, but it's okay, moved on. <laughs> 
Okay, so for the pages that are, are going to go inside, inside those little pockets that we just made, the single pages are four and a quarter by six and three fourths. And these ca cards are eight and a half by six and three fourths. And you will score at four and a quarter, okay? I added, you need four, I did two single sheets and two cards. You see me adding them to the pockets. This pocket, this, this mini album has so much space for so many things like photos, embellishments, like the space is beyond me. Like between the pockets and the signature pages, you can add a lot of photos. So that's four and a four and a quarter. Guys, have you used this cutting board? I love this cutting board. I love how it has the in between, and the large numbers are great. These are from We Are Makers. Well, We Are Memory Keepers. We are makers now. If you want, I can go ahead and put the, I'll go ahead and do it. Put the link in the bottom description box, whatever you call that. Right, so I started working on the signature pages. Okay, for the first, I added a piece that flips up and a piece that flips down. So, it measures, the first one measures four and a quarter by five. And four and a half by six. You will score half of an inch on, oh, this is the part that you don't need to do that, but you can absolutely do it. So you will score half of an inch on the longest side of the paper. And this is a simple signature page. Well, I call it a signature page or interactive pages. I will center it in the middle on top of that pocket, leaving a little edge around the page. So that was the first one. And here you see me matting the papers, cutting everything. And I like to leave like a little gap around. Sometimes that's just eight of an inch, like just barely so you can see the white paper underneath. These are the little tiny magnets I'm using. I got this on, I got them on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon.
And voila! <laughs> Here I'm trying to add some paper, but I won't do it. Okay, for the second, I don't think that's the second one. I think that's the, is that the second one? Okay, so everything is going to be order, uh, out of order here. This is the fourth page. That's the way I worked on them. The fourth page, you will need... A paper that measures six and three fourths by three and six and three fourths by six by four. So six and three fourths by three and six and three fourths by four. You score it half of an inch on the longest side. And those one will flip from side to side. You will also add a magnet to them, or like I said, before adding the pages with the glue, add a little string on the side, tuck it in so you can tie a bow. So I think for this page, I am going to be adding magnets to the end, the top and the bottom. Since is on the longest side, so I want it to make sure that it's closing properly. And when I add my photos or extra embellishments, they won't, it will stay close.
Okay, so that is the second interactive page on the fourth page in the mini album. And here I'm just playing around with the way they look to see in which way I want them to close. I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. And I think I left it that way. Yes, I did. Uh, and now we are going to work on the third page. And that is also the third interactive pages that I added. This one is really fun because it opens in threes, like flips to the right, to the left, and it also flips up. And I wanted to do a flip down, but I left it alone. But you can do that too if you want to. Like I said, I wanted to remind you, I will go ahead and put the link from the Doodlebug Designs blog where you can find all the measurements and everything you need step by step to create this mini album. Here we have a little visitor. <laughs> she wants to help me design the album. So you see her I guess adding you just papers. Started matting papers on top of the plain cards that I started doing something completely different but of course you will see me working on the other interactive page unless i didn't film it i cannot remember right now we're just going with the flow okay so matting those papers on the <laughs> on the album and i of course i have a little helper and her name is savannah <laughs> She's helping me pick a few papers, but she's gonna get bored and leave pretty soon. <laughs> okay, so this one right here is for, I guess I just started matting papers on top of the plain card stack. I started doing something completely different, but of course you will see me working on the other interactive page, unless I didn't film it, I cannot remember. Right now we're just going with the flow, okay? So matting those papers on the, <laughs> on the album. And I, of course I have a little helper and her name is Savannah. <laughs> She's helping me pick a few papers, but she's gonna get bored and leave pretty soon. <laughs> So this interactive page is going to go on the second page when you flip the album. And that one is eight and a half by six and three fourths. And you're going to be scoring at four and a quarter. So that's for the second page. And then the third page, that's where all the fun is happening. <laughs> you will see soon. <laughs>
Okay, so finally we are doing the third page. For that one, you will need a piece of cardstock measuring 11 by 6 and 3 fourths. You will score at 4 and a quarter and 8 and a half. And then you will need a second cardstock measuring 7 and a quarter by 1, 4 and 1 eighth. And that one you will score at 6 and 3 fourths. All right, guys, I have another question. If you have made it this far, I would love to know what glue do you use to create your projects? Like which one is your favorite glue, like liquid glue or double-sided tape? Um, do, you use, do you use your hot glue gun? Like what is your favorite adhesive if you have made it this far into the video? All right, so here I am again looking for magnets to add to this page. Oh, I have, should have added one at the top and one at the bottom, but for some reason I just did one in the middle. But it's okay. Next time <laughs> I will add two. So we are back and this is how I cover it using the card stack from the collection. This is what it looks like. I think it turned out very cute. That is a little side pocket there that I created. Um, that f The pages flip open and now I am going to add it to my album on the third page. I won't be, like I said before, I won't be adding the video on how I added a couple of embellishments to this here because this one is so long. I think it's 48 minutes, but uh, feel free to see the second part. Thank you so much for stopping by once again. If you have made it this far and <laughs> took the time to look at what I did with this mini album. 
I really appreciate you being here. Um, make sure to subscribe. I will be adding more content and also layouts, albums, embellishments, whatever I'm feeling at the moment when I'm being creative. Okay, so here I'm showing you the pockets. This is what it's looking like now, but I will also post the second video, I think right after this one. So keep your eye out for that one. I think it turned out very cute. This collection is beautiful. I love every single page, every single embellishment. And I'm already working, well, about to finish a second album with this collection. And I can't wait to show you. I'll see you guys soon. Besitos. Bye.